Hi, this is Lucas, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a Fanta bottle. I'm going to split this into three videos, two for the modeling and one for the texturing. As a software, I'm going to use Maya, and you can find a link in the description below for a zip file containing three images, which I'm going to use throughout the three videos. So, let's begin. First of all, open Maya, and then go on the desktop or the destination which you want and let's create a new folder named Fanta Bottle. That's it. Now we have to set the project uh, of Maya. So go on File, Project Window and let's create new here. Name it Fanta Model or Fanta Bottle Model. like that and as a location we're going to choose the folder which we have just created and select press accept and now as you can see we have several folders right here in the fanta bottle model folder right there so the next thing is to go to file go on set project and select that same folder that we have just created fanta bottle model and press set and now we have set the project the next thing is to uh, extract all those images from the uh, file in which you have the link in the description uh, cut them or co copy them and paste them in the source images file folder sorry and you have those three images. Let's close them down. We can delete that. Now, the next thing is to begin the model. So, let's import the uh, one of the images. First of all, go on the front view by pressing space and selecting the front view. Go on view, image plane, import image, and select uh, the Fanta bottle image. Right there. And press open. And we have it right there. Now let's go into the perspective again. And the next thing is to create a cylinder. So go to create polygon primitives and cylinder. So right there we have the cylinder. Now let's scale it up a bit by pressing the scale tool. It is important to scale it up from this yellow box right there so that it is uh, enlarged proportionally something like that and let's scale it up down a bit from the height now we are going to begin from the middle so go into the front view and place it in the middle scale it down a bit so that it matches the width of the bottle it is important to keep on one side because um, the image is from a bit of a perspective so the size may not be the same on either side but if you keep uh, with one side the other will come automatically so that's good and let's begin from this part so um, uh, as an overview we're going to select the bottom faces right here and we're going to extrude all the way till the bottom and then the same goes for the up uh, for the top part so uh, hold right click choose face select uh, till the middle you have n and now press shift and select again the middle part so that we have the bottom faces selected now um, let's go on to mesh sorry edit mesh and extrude and we're going to move a bit down and scale up a bit so that it matches the outline of the bottle and we're going to repeat that same exact step for uh, till we arrive at the bottom part so I'm going to show you um, a few more and then I'm going to skip till I'm at the end of the bottle so that uh, I tell you what to do next so I'm going to do a few more so go on 
extrude, move a bit down, and enlarge a bit. If you want to repeat the same, the last action you did, just press G, and it will repeat the same action you did lastly. I arrived till this point uh, with the bottom faces right here as you can see and uh, I'm going to just do an extrude and just move it downwards um, vertically so that we have a flat bottom right there as you can see it is good like that now for this time um, we're going to leave it like that for now uh, so that we continue with the upper part and then when we finish till the uh, top uh, we move till uh, to we move to the uh, bottom part so that we can finish off the model so um, uh, this part it is exactly the same as the bottom part we just select now the top faces instead of the bottom ones we just do some extrudes and we just move upwards instead of downwards and scale up a bit or down a bit according to the model so again I'm going to do a few of, of these extrusions and then um, I'm going to skip uh, till the top part so that we can see uh, the final result of the top part so um, uh, we're we're at the top um, as you can see the model is now taking shape it is very good so uh, the next step is uh, doing this part which is um, uh, very easy to do uh, where the cap um, is we're not going to do the cap for now we just uh, we are going to do uh, the part where the cap stays so as you can see I arrived at this point now I'm going to do another extrude right here I do not move I just scale a bit up like that as you can see there is the this yellow line and then I extrude again and move it upwards so that it is something like that you can see from the perspective part something like that is good so now um, uh, I'm going to do another extrude so that I go inwards again I just scale down now and to see if it matches you can pull up a bit then move downwards and try to match uh, the ends with of this vertex with this uh, vertex right here approximately something like that should do now to to not leave it like that uh, to make it flat just select the move tool press v to snap and snap it to the top part again and then go uh, do another extrude and pull it up and we have the upper part ready something like that we can delete the top faces so that we can make it hollow but if you close your eyes